Hey guys, so I got a new, I finished up a new knife. Um, I've been pretty slow on videos and knife making lately. Just haven't had time uh, to work on things and uh, haven't been motivated really. But uh, I finished this guy up. It's a Woots Nakiri. Uh, a Nakiri is, it looks like a, a, a cleaver, but it's actually very thin. It's a um, vegetable uh, knife. Basically, it's a cleaver for vegetables, so that you can cut things um, like carrots and uh, squash and things. And uh, um, it's very thin and uh, sharp knife. Um, I made the uh, uh, blade out of wood steel that I made, and I forged out at uh, Fire and Brimstone in Baltimore from uh, Baltimore Knife and Sword uh, back in oosh, March, and I just uh, recently finished it up. The staining on the blade is because I've used it already. I, I've been chopping, uh, you know, uh, jalapenos are my favorite, uh, jalapenos and onions, and those uh, usually stain the blades. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. Let me check on the camera. Let me zoom in. And see. This blade has a hamon. Right here. This line here. And I was uh, challenged to do that by Ed uh, Braun. Um, I didn't know if I could do it. I thought the blade might crack. And, and that's always a possibility. With these super high carbon steels but um, I'm gonna link in the description uh, some to my Facebook where you can see the uh, pictures before it got stained of the uh, the detail and the grain or uh, the dendrites not the dendrites the carbides um, in the woods uh, steel and uh, the uh, handle is uh, purple heart with a lightning strike carbon fiber uh, bolster um, I had a trouble <laughs> I made the I didn't have a drill bit long enough for the tang um, and this thin it was only a shoot, five sixty fourths maybe thick and all the five sixty fourths were not that long so I uh, cut down the tang a little bit to get it in here and epoxied it in the um, Saya is ash, uh, curly ash, and uh, I like it. Uh, I did a two-piece construction with, um, uh, on this half, I used my Saya chisels and chiseled out um, a place for it so that the blade is actually offset uh, one side to one side. Um, and then I have a bamboo retaining pin. Um, that uh, keeps the knife from falling out and uh, that's it for the overview of the knife again I'll put some uh, a link to the Facebook where the pictures are so you can get some better uh, uh, look at this uh, but nice simple knife and uh, I've been enjoying using it and uh, uh, one thing I want to improve on is the handles um, you know marking out and predicting engage or making sure all these you know uh, facets are equal in width and uh, length because uh, this one I just sort of eyeballed um, but it turns out all right uh, for me and uh, that's it for today I uh, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully I'll be back soon uh, with a new video about another knife. So thanks guys, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.